The play view groups together the main parameters from the edit view over here and the effects view over here. Now for the effects view, we can turn each effect on or off and affect their main controls. This is the compressor ratio, the frequency of each EQ band, the dry wet mix of the delay, the depth of the chorus, and the dry wet mix of the reverb. Now down here we have the major controls for the main components of the piano sound. Here we can set the noise the hammer makes when it strikes the fork. The time bar has minimal influence on the sound, but this influences the level of the time part of the fork in the blend. And this sets the level of the tone bar portion of the fork. Here we can set the distance of the pickup from the fork. Now the character parameter here is the only one that's accessible from this view only. It provides five speaker cabinet preamp mic and recorder chain emulations that are applied after the output of all the piano controls. And as we turn this knob clockwise, we choose between one of the five different profiles which vary from less pronounced to more pronounced. They're very subtle and not every patch needs them, but they do influence the sound. I'll cycle through them and you'll hear the difference. Groovy's got a nice bite for this particular sound part that I think works nicely. Now, the tremolo control, we can adjust the depth and the speed of it and turn it on or off. And we also have control of the depth via the mod wheel when this button is pressed, and that'll respond to incoming mod wheel messages or the mouse. We have a pitch bend wheel, and by default, it's set to a range of two semitones. To customize the range of that, click on the MIDI tab over here, and we can set the pitch bend range to another value. Now we have a ribbon at the bottom to trigger notes via the mouse if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, and we have white notes and black notes. And at the top of each of the three main views, we have a utility section. We can use the compare button to toggle between the factory patch and the changes we've made in order to hear the difference. And the history button allows us to step back through each change we've made. And there are the character and rate changes step forward. We can set the number of voices here in this polyphony section, anywhere from 8 up to 128, and we can adjust the master tuning. We can alter the main volume output of the whole instrument and have the metering over here. And finally, there's an info window that comes down when we click on these arrows. So that's the play view and the utility controls.